Hey future Seahawks, this is Mrs. Stuckey, the ASB teacher here at Serrano. ASB is a year-long elective class that is the leadership of the school. We are responsible for the planning, organizing, and the running of spirit days, lunchtime activities, fundraising, and dances on campus. We also take care of our mascot, Sammy the Seahawk. In order to be in ASB as a seventh grader, you have to fill out and turn in an application that is signed by your teacher. You must be hardworking and dedicated, able to work in a team, and have excellent character. You should have creative ideas and a passion for being spirited, positive, and involved on campus. There is a strict code of conduct for all ASB members and you must maintain a 3.0 GPA with no D's or F's and no N's or U's in citizenship. We can't wait for you to join us and help make Serrano the best school it can be. Welcome incoming 7th graders. This is Mr. Hartle. I teach art and in my art one class and art two we focus on creating using the elements and principles of design. We explore different processes of different famous artists such as Mondrian who you'll see in a second. In art one we do things like cartoon character design, clay whistles, portraits and perspective all along introducing you to exercises that will improve your drawing and observation skills. In advanced art we do larger projects such as the school mural you saw as you were entering Serrano. We do clay masks, we do sculptures, we do paintings and drawings and we do all of these to help you discover the voice in each of my students. I want to try and create artists within you or bring the artists in you out. I teach students to be creative, resourceful, and critical thinkers. We have fun in Art 1 and in Art 2, but most of all, I'm getting you to develop skills that you could use in your careers. It's been nice and hopefully I'll see you in Art. Hey there everyone. This is Mr. No. I am the music teacher here at Serrano, where we offer band, orchestra, and choir. Other extracurricular ensembles include jazz band and symphony orchestra. We are a very active music program here at Serrano, as we participate in numerous events throughout the school year. Some of these events include festival and competition performances at Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland, and other big venues across Southern California. Advanced ensembles even take a three-day overnight spring field trip to San Diego. Last year, we won multiple awards in San Diego, but our biggest one was the award for the top music program. Here at Serrano Music, we like to have fun. With dedication, discipline, and ambition, musical excellence is only a short journey away. Our philosophy is unity, integrity, and legacy, and Serrano Music students work hard every single day to uphold our award-winning tradition. So what are you waiting for? Sign up and help build our legacy. AVID. What is AVID? AVID is a year-long elective that helps prepare you for college. AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. Let's see how AVID has helped these other students. AVID helped me meet new people at a new school. AVID helped me get my grades up when they were at an all-time low. AVID helped me be more confident in myself. AVID helped me become a better public speaker. In AVID, we do tutorials twice a week, every Tuesdays and Thursdays. In tutorials, we ask questions that we have trouble in in our other classes to help us understand the topic better. Sometimes in AVID, we go on field trips to different colleges to see how life is and the majors they have on campus. On Wednesday, we do different team building activities to help us with our communication and leadership skills. On other days, we do projects. These projects are here to explain what we want our life to be when we grow up and what colleges we want to go to and is best for us. AVID is a family to build trust in one another. We do things called campfires where we talk about the goods and the bads of our life so they know what we're going through. I hope you think about joining AVID for your elective. Hello, I'm Dr. McElfish, and this is Multimedia. The purpose of a single trimester of Multimedia has three main components. 
First, it's meant to prepare seventh grade students for their eighth grade elective choice. Second, it's also meant to provide a foundation of skills needed in the future at El Toro High School. And finally, this course will provide students with an overview of the types of current jobs available in the entertainment industry that they may want to aspire to achieve in their future. In multimedia, students will learn the language of film, including camera shots and camera angles, and when to choose a particular one, editing techniques, mood creation through visuals and music, lens selection, special effects basics, and lighting techniques. Through learning the language of film, students will also learn some of the history of filmmaking and its reasons for its culture. Students will also learn some, but not all, jobs in entertainment, including, but not limited to, editing, camera operator, directing, scoring, and acting, mainly. My goal is for students to produce quality videos for any level, not only for schools, but for home and personal use also. In multimedia, we will do a number of projects, including garage band songs to create music that can influence an audience and score a movie, camera shots and angles to show basic editing skills and basic shot selection and identification, homework machine and lunch maker, which is shooting an existing script, creating your own props from available materials, and basic sound effects and practical special effects. Hi, future Seahawks. My name is Mr. Kiyomi, and I teach keyboarding. In keyboarding, we memorize the keys to a keyboard and we type without looking at our hands. First, we'll learn which fingers to use on each key using the program Typing Club. Then, we'll use an online typing book to reinforce the lessons. After you've mastered your typing technique, you can challenge your classmates to typing games like NitroType. We'll also learn how to use the G Suite programs Google Doc Templates, Google Forms, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Here's what a few keyboarding students have to say about the class. I like keyboarding because it helps me with other classes and it's fun to do. In this class, um, it, like, it helped me by like in English, my typing, my essay is a lot quicker. Uh, I like this class because uh, we type a lot and it also helps for the other classes because now I know how to type. So do you want to go through life typing like this? Or like this? So, I hope you choose keyboarding for your 7th grade elective, but even if you don't, I know you're going to love being a Serrano Seahawk. Hello, I'm Dr. McElfish, and this is Web Design. The purpose of this single trimester web design course has three main components. First, it is meant to give students an exposure to the logic and syntax of programming and app design. Second, it is also meant to provide a foundation of skills needed in the future at El Toro High School in order to participate in their digital media classes successfully. And finally, this course will provide students with an overview of the types of current jobs available in many industries that they may want to aspire to achieve in their future. In web design, students will learn a number of skills to begin their journey in programming and app design. Students will learn HTML so they can have a feel for the underpinnings of the web. We will then move on to programming apps and games online using a block-based programming system. Finally, we are beginning to include programming virtual reality in Unity 3D using the C-sharp programming language. In web design, we do a number of projects. We do HTML, learning basic programming in an easily understandable language to understand the logic and underpinnings of the web. Block-based programming, understanding the logic of programming while not worrying about spelling errors. This produces quick and impressive results. And we're starting to include a virtual reality VR ball game, advancing knowledge of logic and incorporating design into that, introducing common programming language C Sharp and a game engine Unity 3D. This teaches students the basics of VR, which is a new and excitingly open field for them to explore and possibly make a career out of. If you would like more science, technology, engineering, art, and math here at Serrano, then look no further than the STEAM Village. The STEAM Village elective is made up of three different trimester-long electives, engineering, computer science, and digital media arts. These introductory level courses lead to more advanced level courses in eighth grade. This will prepare students for pathway choices as they move into ninth grade at El Toro High School. 
Each of these electives will be integrated into their core English, social studies, math, and science classes throughout the year, creating a one of a kind interdisciplinary 21st century educational opportunity. Our goal is for students to be faced with real world problems and use design thinking in a project based learning environment to come up with solutions utilizing the tools and skills from each of these courses. In digital media arts, students will learn the language of film, editing, camera operating, directing, scoring, and acting. In computer science, students will learn problem solving, web development, games, and animations using Code.org's computer science curriculum. In engineering, students will explore the foundations of engineering and the design process. Course content will include computer-aided design, robotics, and automation. In all of these courses, students will experience hands-on projects centered around design thinking in a project-based learning environment. The STEAM Village program requires a commitment for both your seventh and eighth grade years there are a limited number of spaces available for this program. If you're interested in this one-of-a-kind learning opportunity, make sure you select STEAM Village as your elective choice.